Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about inlaying different colored woods into other colored woods. So I've, I've colored this in. The yellow is supposed to represent uh, maple. The brown is supposed to represent uh, walnut. So anyway, so I drew out this plaque, and it's not that big. It's it's uh, about seven and a half by four inches. And I duplicated the epilogue word, and then I, I grabbed one of them, and I put it down here. And then I took this one, and I actually contoured it three one-thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to do it again, just kind of show you. It's really easy to do. Go up to Effects. My computer's kind of running slow this morning. I got some other things running converting some videos but go to contour your contour docker will uh, pop up and go to the outside point zero zero three and you can play with that it wasn't perfect this morning we want our contour colored black so we're going to hit apply Now we can close this window, and we're going to zoom in on that that word, get it really close. We're going to click on it. We're going to go arrange, break contour apart. Now we want to click on the red, because that's our old hairline. So now we have epilogue that's three one thousand of an inch bigger, and today it could have been actually a little bit bigger, so you want to play with that. I'm going to back up here because I want to keep that one red. Now, to even go a little bit further, you've got two inside parts that are that you're going to need to keep as walnut. That part, or maple, excuse me, you need that part and that part. So what you're going to want to do, and, and you always want to make a copy. So let's just put it over here for a second. Let's zoom in here. Now we want to click on that and we want to go break or let's convert it to curves. Then go to range, break curve apart. Now you can grab just that piece and just this piece. We can go and delete all these. Now we're going to go up here, go up to effects, contour, three one thousand of an inch click that same thing zoom in on them break contour apart range say in a lot of times you have to lasso around all of it break contour apart maybe zoom in a little bit more click on just your red and delete it and that's why you want your contour to be black so you can tell the difference between the two contours click on the inside circle delete it so now you have these pieces that are contoured let's close this window and what's going to happen after you cut this out you need to replace those two pieces with maple so when you cut that out you'll put that maple piece inside that walnut piece and it'll fit a little tighter. Now, this morning when I did this test and did the other videos, I could have probably even, now on these two pieces, I actually had to kind of force them down in there so the contour was really tight. On the outer letters, it wasn't so tight, I probably could have gone five, four or five, one thousand. But you can do that with, you know, if you've got a piece of wood in there, just kind of do a one letter test and then put another put your other species of wood in there and and see how tight it is I've done it on some weird shaped pieces that I actually when I put the glue in there I actually had to kind of really really force down in there but it makes a really good tight joint and in the other videos you're gonna see how important that is all right I'm gonna show you a little uh, insight on uh, doing wood inlay I just cut this out this morning and I 
contoured the epilogue in the walnut, the darker wood, three one thousandths of an inch. I cut out this plaque and then I cut out this epilogue just like it was cut out of the of the maple. But on this one I actually contoured it and I've got a couple of pictures to show the difference. It's a slight difference. But I'm going to show you a little trick. You can see a line. Uh, one, you can see the burn line and the laser, and you can see the gap between the two curves. So what I'm going to do, take any wood glue, I'm using Type Bond 2 here, but any yellow wood glue today will work, and just spread it around on your letters. You've already glued it down. I've already glued it down on a piece of MDF for backing. So the letters have been glued in. They're secure. But I'm taking wood glue and I'm just kind of rubbing around the letters. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub it into those joints. Now yellow wood glue, white wood glue, uh, most wood glues today are yellow. They're going to dry clear. So it's already helped me, but I'm going to show you a little trick. So we're going to rub this in real good. Make sure it gets in every little crack. And what I'm doing, I'm filling up the cracks with glue. Back and forth. And then I'm going to take a, a rag and I'm just going to wipe that off. It's still damp. I'm going to take an orbital sander. I'm going to use 120 grit on it right now. And I'm going to sand this moist glue surface. Okay, I stopped the video for just a second to uh, so you wouldn't have to go through my sanding. But I've taken all the glue off, and I'm gonna I'll take a close-up picture of this to see to show you what it looks like. But that's all it took. So my my wood is equal in height. Uh, it was originally equal in height already, but it's 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 got a smooth feel, and the sawdust from the sander has gone down in that crack and kind of blended it all together where you can't really see the cracks anymore. You can't see the lines. So I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to take a close-up picture of it so you can see the difference.